Time to talk about volume of all of the three-dimensional figures we've talked about so far. Prisms, cylinders, pyramids, and cones. Many would argue that volume is much easier to work with than surface area. And I agree in many ways because all you have to do is multiply the base area times the height. If you're working with a pyramid or a cone, of course, it's one-third the base area times the height. Volume is always in terms of units cubed. So, really, those are the only two formulas you need to be able to use. You need to be able to find the area of any shaped base, multiply it by the height, sometimes divide by three, sometimes not, and you're done. So let's show you. Easiest way to learn this stuff is to just practice. So, here's a regular hexagon. We know that the formula for a regular hexagon or a regular polygon is one half of the perimeter times the apothem. Well, we know that every one of these sides is eight. So since they're all eight, we know our perimeter is going to be 48. And then what we need to do from there is we need to find our apothem. Now, we know this top angle is always going to be 360 divided by two times the number of sides. So we know this is 30 which means this is going to be 4 and 4, so our apothem is 4 root 3. So we have our perimeter, our apothem is 4 root 3, so our area of the base is 1 half perimeter times apothem, so 1 half of 48 times an apothem of 4 root 3 is going to give us a base area of 96 root 3. Now to find the volume, all you have to do is multiply it by the height of the prism. So we just have to multiply that by 15, and you get a grand total of 1,440 root 3 meters cubed. And that's it. You're done. It really is that simple. Find the area of the base of the prism, and then multiply it by the height of the prism, and you are good to go. Like this next one here. We have a circle with a radius of 3. So the area of our base is 9 pi. The height of it is 12. So we're just going to multiply 9 pi by 12. And again, you're done. 108 pi units cubed. Finished. So when we use a pyramid or a cone, the only difference is after we find the area, we multiply it by the inside height because volume is filling something up from the inside, and we multiply it by one-third. So again, we don't have all the information we need. We need to find our inside height. Our slanted height is 26, which is useful for surface area but not for volume. If this is 20, then this is going to be split into 10 and 10. Pythagorean theorem, to find the height, 10 squared plus h squared is equal to 26 squared. So we're going to find that the height is 24. So we're ready to go. The base is just a square, 20 by 20. So the area of the base is 400. Here you go. Multiply that by one-third because it's a pyramid and by the height which we found is 24. Put it all together, 3,200 inches cubed. Done. That's it. In the last one, we have a cone. Find the area of the base, multiply it by the height, multiply it by one-third, and you're done. Give it a try. Again, the circle is radius squared pi. If the radius is 3, the area of our base is 9 pi. Since it's a cone, we multiply it by 1 third. And the height, which we were given in the first place, is 5. 15 pi units cubed. And you are done. That's it for volume. Just remember, it's always going to be base area times the height. But when you're working with a pyramid or a cone, you have to multiply it by one-third.
That's it for volume. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.